Hey guys, welcome back to the Simi Plum Bob channel, and today we are currently looking at a speed uh, edit on the Creative Sim in The Sims 4. So, yeah, it's been a long time since I've actually recorded something for my channel, and uh, this video is just to talk about why. So, um, I recently moved into a new place with my boyfriend and um, I spent most of my time the last uh, month or two packing and moving and things like that and on top of it all uh, my laptop decided to die so yeah I was without my computer and I couldn't even play anything of The Sims for like weeks, <laughs> to be honest. So yeah, that's one of the main reasons why I haven't uh, been uploading any new content for my channel. But um, everything's going to start up again. Um, uh, let me tell you something else. Um, since my laptop decided to die, I lost my... A save file for um, my Sims 4 game so that means as this moment from this moment forward we will not be playing any more of the Winston family and I know it's sad and I have been upset about it for a long time trying to get over it and be like okay you know what and be like, okay, you know what? There is, there's always a light at the end of a long tunnel. So uh, I just breathed, talked with my best friend to figure out what I can do to be invested into The Sims again. And the idea was, since making, I mean, making magic, since Realm of Magic was the next pack that came after Island Living, um, something actually happened in the time frame between um, Island Living and the new expansion, which is Discover University. So, um... Yeah, uh, something happened. It's like a time paradox or whatever. And when the thing is, Marilyn, um, she's been having some trouble um, when she went to Glimmerbrook and tried to pursue magic. And I will get more into her story and the speed build, um, which would be in another video. But uh, anyway, she had some trouble, and while trying to resurrect Lynn, um, there was actually a time paradox, and it broke that version of the universe. And when it did, time just warped back all the way back to when Lynn was actually born. So instead of her uh, Marilyn's magic actually resurrecting grandma Lynn to help her with some advice and stuff um it actually went back in time and ne Lynn was born again and that means everyone and everything that has happened to Lynn in her life and her kids and her grandkids that no longer exists and yeah, uh, so we're starting anew with Lynn Needs once again, and it's going to be so excited to see how different her life is going to be now that she is not an orphanage. So yes, when the time paradox broke, Lynn actually wasn't an orphan like she was in the last time frame. So uh, yeah, she... Her mother actually kept her, and let me tell you a little bit about uh, their story. So, her mother, um, she is, uh, I don't know, she's a special sim. Um, she is very paranoid, she is a loner, she is, um, she's very erratic, she's like crazy, kind of. And um, with that, she doesn't 
know who the dad is pretty much so she was like partying her young adult life she had an accident yeah she maybe got addicted to a couple of drugs in her young adult life while she was partying um got pregnant from a dude we don't even know who the father is and you know because of her um head injury and her accident and all of her addictions and stuff she has become erratic paranoid and a little bit of a loner which is really sad and unfortunate for uh, Lynn's mother um but luckily her grandmother um Marie is there and she's gonna help take care of baby Lynn and her daughter who is, has gone pretty much insane so yeah that's the main reason why Lynn became an orphan in the first place place um it's because uh, her mother was too unstable to raise her and her grandmother already had her hands full with her mother but in this time frame but in this paradox she actually keeps lynn and chooses to raise her as you know a part of their family so yeah this is going to be very interesting to see um how different lynn's life is going to be um obviously we're going to be playing with a brand new expansion hack um the sims 4 um discover university so that's going to be super exciting and yeah i just couldn't let go of this family pretty much and uh my best friend helped me come up with this like genius idea to continue on this um the story pretty much and just start it in a different timeline or a different paradox or whatever you call it so yeah i thought that was pretty pretty cool um uh, that idea that we came up with and so yeah i wonder um how different the other orphan girls lives are gonna go i wonder um if uh zachary is still a part of this world who knows we will just find out the more we go but um until the new expansion pack comes out i plan on actually playing lynn's life from a uh, toddler all the way up to young adult and we by then hopefully we can start the actual expansion pack uh next week so yes yeah, super excited but anyways yes yeah, so um i hope you enjoyed this create a sim and i cannot wait to uh build grandma's house and actually play them and see what happens in lynn's life now that she is not an orphan anymore but yeah um i hope you guys um enjoy this new version of lynn's story and yeah so uh again thank you all so much for watching and i really hope you like this create a sim and i will see you in the speed build <laughs> everybody have a great day